Oh, what? Quitting smoking? That's easy. I've done it dozens of times. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Entirely Honest, where I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I've improved mine. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Alan Carr's easy way to stop smoking. I'll start out by sharing my experience with smoking, and then I'll give an overview of the contents of this book, and I'll finish with how you quit smoking yourself. Let's get into it. So fortunately for me, I never got into cigarettes or addicted to nicotine, but I did develop an addiction to cannabis. I started smoking cannabis when I was pretty young, and I smoked on and off throughout my teenage years and into my 20s. And when I started my journey of self-improvement, I knew that stopping smoking was something I really wanted to do, and so I quit cold turkey. And I only discovered this book about three months after I quit smoking, when I was researching on how to deal with cravings. It was reading this book that really solidified myself as a non-smoker, and it freed me of my addiction. So if you've quit smoking, still consider reading this book, especially if you're struggling with cravings, or you quit without understanding the psychology of smoking, because the psychology of smoking is pretty much what this book is about. So Alan Carr, the guy that wrote this book, was a really heavy chain smoker for 33 years before he quit. And through his books and his audio tapes and the clinics that he set up all around the world, he's helped millions of people quit smoking, including myself. And he did so through this easy way method. And that just essentially explains the psychology of smoking so that they can, the smokers can understand and ultimately overcome their addiction. So he doesn't recommend using like nicotine gum or patches and he barely talks about health at all in the whole book. So if you have an interest in psychology, like myself, you'll really enjoy this book. It's, it's a really interesting read. So I'll try my best now to just kind of explain the easy way method uh, very briefly. So it's essentially just a mindfulness practice. Um, so smokers, when they're smoking, they're really focused on achieving that high sensation, and they really want to maximize that. And in order to do so, they have to block out actively block out all the unpleasant sensations or feelings that come with smoking as well. So the chemically taste, the hot irritating air, uh, the pain they get from coughing, the smell that stains everything from their body to their clothes and uh, their home if they smoke inside. And so they try to ignore all that and just focus all their attention on that high sensation that they get from smoking. And so Alan just recommends that while you're smoking, instead of ignoring all those other sensations, is to focus on them with your full attention. So uh, maybe focus on that hot air coming in or focus on the smell that you get when you light up the cigarette. And uh, Alan pretty much says that when you, when you focus on all those unpleasant sensations, they'll overpower that high sensation that you're looking for. And uh, once smokers are able to do that, they'll find it easy to quit, hence the easy way. So yeah, the easy way method is the main concept of this book. He also talks about identity and how when you're smoking, you have the identity of a smoker and from the moment that you quit, you now take on the identity of a non-smoker. And he recommends that you use this concept in social situations. So if somebody offers you uh, to smoke, you can just simply say, uh, no, I'm not a smoker. And that kind of removes all the anxiety and the stress that could come from situations like that. And uh, yeah, he's a lot of interesting statistics in this book and just really good like one-liners and certain paragraphs that really explain smoking in a more truthful and honest way and, and really helps to change your perception of uh, smoking. So yeah, that's, um, that's about it. And the, uh, the book is pretty much for smokers, but if you have like a really close loved one that is a, a smoker, it could be beneficial for you to read this book because like I said before, it's about the psychology of smoking. So just by reading this book, you really understand the psychology of people that smoke um, a lot better. So quitting smoking is one of the best things that you can do to improve your life. And it's actually really easy. You just need to follow three simple steps. The first step is you have to want to stop. You have to have that desire to become a non-smoker. And it turns out this is really common. Up to 90% of adults over the age of 35 want to stop smoking. The second step is you have to read Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. 
He even lets you smoke while you read the book. This is, in my opinion, an essential step because it will just help you feel so relaxed once you quit. And that's the, that leads me to the third step. The third step of quitting smoking is to just enjoy your life as a non-smoker. Once you finish that book, you won't have a desire to want to smoke again, and you can finally just relax and be free of the addiction. So that's my review of Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. This book really helped to improve my life, and so I hope that this, uh, this review helped improve yours. And if you're not a smoker and you've never smoked and this video doesn't apply to you, please send it to somebody that smokes. I really wish that I would have found out about this book a lot earlier on in my smoking career. So yeah, please share the video to somebody that you know that, that smokes. And uh, yeah, especially with it being the new year, 2021, uh, if you're a smoker, just making that resolution to, to quit is probably the best one that you can make. So yeah, I'll leave links down below of where you can buy the book. And also, please comment on the video. Let me know what you thought of the video. I love the feedback that you guys give me, and I love interacting with you. So yeah, maybe you could share your story of your smoking experience or how you quit smoking uh, down in the comment section below. So that's it. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Peace! Thank you.